Uh, hello, my name is Steve Lang. I'm the Assistant Director of Career Services at Central Washington University's Des Moines Center. Uh, my guest today is Kent Thompson. He's a regional um, audit manager with the audit division of the Washington State Department of Revenue. Uh, Kent graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in economics from Western Washington University in 2004 and completed his accounting coursework at uh, Central Washington's Des Moines Center in 2007. He has held his license as a certified public accountant since uh, 2008 and has been with his current organization since 2005. So, so welcome, Kent. Hi, Steve. Thanks for joining us. So to be respectful of your time, I I'm just going to jump right into the questions we have uh, for you today. So here's the first question. What motivated you or how or what did you do to pursue uh, and attain your current position? Sure, Steve. So I originally got connected to my organization through another gentleman whose name was Steve. Um, he was a Department of Revenue manager that I met at a career fair up at Western. After graduating and beginning my career search, I called Steve and he remembered me and he helped me get connected to a job interview down in the Seattle area where I lived. I had a great interview and I was fortunate enough to land a position. Like most people, I didn't grow up dreaming about a career in tax administration, but I quickly realized that this was an organization that invested in its people put an emphasis on customer service and had other values that aligned well with my own. Over the last 15 years, I've grown a new organization through working hard, learning from others, and seeking out ways to teach and give back along the way. Much of what motivates me comes from within, but these were also traits that the department valued, so it had a reinforcing effect. It was also motivating to see that my organization promoted the best candidate for a given position and not just the most tenured person who applied. You knew that if you worked hard and did well, that there would be many opportunities to advance. Okay, well, thanks. So uh, what do you like most uh, about your job? I'm gonna start there and then we'll ask you what you like least about it. Yeah. So what I like most is the people and the culture at my organization. Like I've indicated, there's a high emphasis on caring for people and supporting our staff, as well as providing good customer service. Our organization's vision is to achieve the highest level of voluntary compliance, so that means we spend a lot of time on educational efforts with our customers through our various activities. In addition to my regular duties, I'm part of several mentoring relationships in my organization, and I really enjoy having these conversations with people, seeing them grow, and learning more myself along the way. Okay. So what is it that you like least about your, your position and what you do in, uh, on a daily basis? What I like least is that it's really hard to make everyone happy. I have to recognize in my job that my work has different impacts on different people and stakeholders. So I'm sure you can, you can relate. No one really likes to pay taxes, but we do recognize that they provide for public services like schools and colleges, transportation, and support for those in need in our communities. An internal decision that I make may be best for the organization as a whole, but on the flip side, it could come at a cost for a given individual or group. So I always try to listen to people and explain things well. Even if I can't reach agreement with the person I'm working with, coming to a place where we understand each other, that's still important, I think, and helps us move forward. Okay. So tell us about what you, I mean, you know, you go through the training and you become a CPA, uh, you know, all that, the, the credentialing, but what are the most important skills you use on, on a daily basis? So in my current role as a regional manager, some of the most important skills I use daily are verbal and written communication and interpersonal skills, you know, working with, with other people to find solutions and take advantage of opportunities and solve problems. Um, critical thinking and risk analysis are also important. Um, and also just to, to get through the number of things I have to do each day, it's important to have good organizational skills and good time management as well as be able to, to delegate when appropriate. Um, just thinking back to, you know, some additional skills I learned, I used in earlier roles, you know, there's a lot of emphasis on, on research and doing your homework, uh, computer skills, like, you know, working with Excel and Office and stuff, those are really important, as well as planning goes, goes, uh, goes a long way, you know, taking time to plan your engagement out, to sharpen your saw before you cut down a tree, I think that goes, goes a long way to success as well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to go off off the script of questions just a little bit here because you talked about the importance of writing. Um, and uh, so can you tell me what kind of writing that, you know, uh, individuals need to be really capable of doing to be successful in this position? Yeah, so I mean, depending on the, the position 
someone may get into, you know, you're just about any position, you're probably going to have a lot of emails to write. And it's important to be able to clearly and succinctly put your thoughts on on paper and communicate to to others, whether it's your your colleague in the workstation next to you or you know, a, a really important client or, or someone else. Um, written communication is a, is a very powerful tool. Okay. Um, so in addition to email, you know, your organization may have to write official reports, uh, may have to write, write up audits, um, contracts and proposals. Um, I know accountants don't always think of, you know, writing as a really important skill, but it goes a long way to help you be successful in your career, no matter what position you're in in accounting. Mm -hmm. And then something else you mentioned in the answer to uh, that was, um, you know, can you just talk just a little bit more about how you progressed from starting in the agency to where you are now? I mean, what, is there certain steps or what kinds of things uh, did you do? As far as progressing in the, in the agency, um, like I talked about, I, I think, um, for me, it was just a matter of getting in the door and seeing what the agency was was all about and seeing what was interesting to me. Um, you know, I, I I've worked in our audit division for 13 of my 15 years, but that's that's not where I started. I started with more of a, a compliance and and collections activity, and you know, I I realized that wasn't what I wanted to do for my in, entire career. So I started networking with people and you know, learning more about other opportunities in in my organization and. You know, I, I would move into a field auditing job and learned a lot from that and really enjoyed it. But then also, um, you know, yearned for, for something a little different. And so I started to work on some more internal projects and training that our, that our agency does. And, you know, from there, I started to get interested in, in management and helping to, um, you know, mentor and coach and work with other people to help them find success. And so I was a field manager for five years and just the beginning of this year, got into my, my current role as, as a regional manager. Okay. Well, that sounds great. So, so it sounds like you, you started out in one area and then discovered that wasn't exactly the area you wanted to be in. So um, I think that's important for students to hear. So my last question that I have for you uh, is what advice do you have for someone wanting to pursue a similar career uh, or occupation as yours? Sure. I say the advice I'd give to someone is, you know, start working and making connections early. You know, I mentioned that the, the way I got into my organization, the way I started working for the department was through a connection I made at, at a career fair. So, you know, take advantage of those opportunities you have to connect with potential employers and people in, in the industry that you're interested in. Um, do that early and continue doing that throughout your, your career. Um, find a job that you like to do and with a culture that's a, that's a good fit for you. Do your homework on the organizations and the groups you're pursuing. You know, the salary number you get on the offer sheet, that, that's important, but there are other aspects of the company that you might find are just as or more important to you than, than just the salary number. Um, just to kind of cap it off and say I encourage people to work hard, to, to have fun, to, to find ways to grow, but you know, most importantly, seek out a job that provides both purpose and fulfillment for you. Um, you know, I, think, I think that's really important. Yeah, well, it sounds like your job has been quite fulfilling for you for, for some time. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you, Kent. I uh, really appreciate your time uh, to share information about your career path and your current occupation as a regional audit manager with the Washington State Department of Revenue. And, and to our viewers out there, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and don't forget to check out our other um, Discover Your Path informational interviews on our Central Washington Career Services YouTube channel. Again, thanks for watching and have a great afternoon.